Hey, Sneaky Looks back today. Today we've got Tiny Micro No Multicore 3.7. Released a few days ago, well, quite a few days ago, and they can't do it quite yet. But here, we're back on a roll now. As you can see, I've got a bit of a frugal reinstall going down here. Now, on the Multicore ISO, you get Tiny Core and Micro Core. You also get the Tiny Core with the graphical installer. You get Tiny Core with all the wireless networking and stuff like that. And the same for Micro Core too, all in the one ISO, which is around about 45 megabytes. Or you can still go to the site and just get Tiny Core or Micro Core on their own. That ain't so bad. Now, as you can see, I've got some stuff going down here. We've got Pigeon. There's the Tiny Core graphical installer. I'll give you a quick look at it in a minute, but no, I'm not going to install it today. We'll do a bit of an installation a bit later in the week. G Numeric is here. There you go. Comes up quick as a flash, as you can see. Abbey Word is here quick as a flash as you can see nothing there now as you know it doesn't come with anything I've actually installed these from their app browser oh but I got chromium and Firefox as well as a drive mounter run any application I'll just click on there for you so you just type in application it will run now this is their app browser if you've never seen tiny core before this is tiny core how you get stuff so basically you connect we scroll down we find something we want to install and Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt and we're done I mean, like, so if I go click on the thunder there, it tells you how big it is, where it is, what it's in, blah, 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 blah. It's only tiny. Should we download it? Go on, and we might as well. You click on go. It starts downloading the tiny of the core stuff for you. As you can see, downloading, downloading, downloading. Leaves more libs here. Downloading, downloading, leaves more libs. And it's done. So okay, that was nice and quick, wasn't it? And if we go down here, here is a thunder. Already for us to use. Super duper. So that's how you install stuff anyway. You've also got your panel here for doing panel stuff. So say I wanted to move my W bar or my widget bar, what you want to call it, to the bottom. So move it to the bottom, apply, goes down to the bottom. Simple as that. Job done. Nothing else to say really, is there? Do your graphics from here, you swap files, your mouse and mounting tools, backup and restore, time and date, the usual. It's all there. You don't get more than one wallpaper, by the way. Blue is the colour, as they say. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to open up Chromium and just to show you a couple of things. Hang on. There we go, and we're going to go to the Tiny Core Linux site. And as you can see, I was in the middle of reading that earlier. Now they've updated the instructions for installing Tiny Core using the GUI installer. Very nice indeed. Give it a read through, it tells you exactly what to do. You can't go wrong, okay? There's no way you can go wrong. If you go wrong, best you can have a, you know, a bit of a rest and try it again, because you shouldn't be able to go wrong here. You should get no errors. Well, I haven't had any errors anyway. But that's just me, you know me, you know, yeah, you know me, yeah. So if I click on welcome and we go to their main page, as you can see, this is the version we've got 3.7. You now get NTFS read support, which is nice, nice, nice. And you've got the GUI installer, as I said before. Grub for DOS is also around, and there's lots of other bits and bobs that I've also done for you to learn and do stuff like that. So, yeah, super duper. I'll tell you, I'll quickly open up the installer and show you what I mean. This is it, this is all you do. You just select the tiny core you want to install, and off you go. It takes about ooh, a minute, if that. So it's like four minutes quicker than do it by command line. So what I'll do later in the week, I'll do a video on installing tiny core using the GUI installer. If I get time, I'm really backed up. I've got lots of stuff doing and stuff and stuff and stuff. But we'll try and keep up, eh, and see how we go. That's enough for me. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.